Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Our Adventurer Guild. Um, I want to open by saying I'm going to be doing something, doing things a little bit differently uh, from here on. Because uh, I've, be, I've been thinking about uh, leveling everybody up. I mean, my preference was to try and get everyone to max level, just to kind of um, showcase their, their abilities a little bit, you know. Um, but I think it's going to take a very, very long time to do that. Uh, if you consider when... I mean, now because of the XP involved in getting us up to, to the next levels, um, some of these we're taking some of these guys out and they're not even getting a level with it within mission. Um, so if you think it's going to take a minimum of five missions with, dra with, for instance, Dragonbane to get those guys up to max level and then kind of apply it across one, two, three, four, five of our parties... Um, you're potentially looking at 25 to 30, 35 more episodes before we're kind of getting into the final content, which seems like a lot to me because I think we're not, at this stage of the game, at this level we are not really in, in any jeopardy on the missions. It's more a case of going in, getting as much XP and stuff as we can, getting out, everyone's kind of happy. Um, so I don't know how interesting it would be to have those several dozen episodes with us basically just leveling. Um, so I was thinking of ways we could kind of get around that. And I think what I'm going to do is post this episode. Uh, we'll go out and do a contract in this episode. But then following this episode, what I'm going to do is off camera, just grind contracts and experience with all the parties. Just try and get them leveled up as, as much as I can. Um, then I'll come back. Uh, so following this episode, what I think we'll do is then do a contract or, or a monster hunting mission. Whatever, whatever we have available uh, with each party. You know, giving everyone a bit of a chance to shine. Um, then we'll go in and do Vorothax with as high a group as we can as we can muster. What I might do, because I'm planning on doing the final story mission with our prestige classes, is maybe I'll do Vorothax with our high level guys who aren't in the prestige classes. Um, you know, kind of give them a, a final chance to shine in like a really big, big one of those. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of my plan. And I hope you guys are OK with that. So basically, we're going to come after this episode, we'll have, say, five episodes of all the parties do, doing a nice contract and, and showcasing the stage they're at. Uh, then we'll do Vorothax and then the final story missions. So I'm thinking probably eight to ten more episodes in the series and uh, I think that I think that feels about right so hopefully hopefully that kind of works for you guys as well let me know in the comments but uh <laughs> probably by the time I see them I'll already have finished but uh yeah anyway that's my plan so what we're gonna do today well I'm gonna take out uh yeah, these guys are all fairly level but I think maybe we'll take out rising stars or wild hearts and we'll do... I mean, we want something that's going to bring in a lot of XP, so it's probably... I mean, it could be a Waves mission. Uh, the Explore missions... It's, it's tougher. Although, with the Explore missions, it, it is tougher, but... Um, I'll clear the old... Oh, no, because that's one star less. Yeah, maybe we'll do an Explore Tundra. Or Old Fortress, maybe. Because um, we can get into fights, and uh, we can try and boost the amount of experience we get from this map through doing a good number of fights, I think. So let's go in and do this with Wild Hearts. Equipment available. Reco oh, it's recommending quite a... F let's take four stacks of food, then. Um, we'll take a Legendary Key. Uh, I'll take one of those. But to be honest, with Shades in the party in particular, and Melody too, but Shades has the higher... Um, dexterity. I'm, I'm imagining she can probably pick an epic lock, so that shouldn't be too much of a concern. Uh, let's take take double stacks of those. Um, old fortress. It doesn't seem. I don't think it's going to be a big poison area, so I think I won't need to take anything else. Um, so let's get these guys into gear, so to speak. Right. Do that. Do that. Dark Moon, and oh, that's not Dark Moon, that's Sia. Uh, let's go with that. And Sia is a Frost Mage. I 
don't know if she really needs that. So what I can do instead is give her Ice Bride thing. Although that's saying it, Frost probably isn't a great fit for the old fortress, but, but you know, we'll lean into it, whatever. Uh, St. Seattle. Take his thing. Uh, yeah, so, well, how many strength gauntlets am I using so far? So we're going to be using one, two, three. So yeah, so Shades doesn't get one, but... Um, I don't think she needs the endurance either, so we'll go with that setup, and then Melody will go with that. So that's pretty standard for everyone now. I don't think we need a lot of tweaking there. Uh, let's get a XP thing, and we'll start a quest. Okay, so this is an exploration mission, but really we're going to be taking the fights as we come to them, and although I'm not thrilled to be getting a Swordmaster fight, because they are tough, um, you do get a lot of XP for them, like thousands per person, so we'll be doing it. If we're in the same party, things have always worked out with us together. Stavish Danro has been a good leader uh, for the party, despite the fact he keeps beating them all at cards and stealing all their money. Uh, but that aside, he's been a very good leader. <laughs> uh, Melody, I think we could, probably an idea to come up would be, well, would be to come up and poison bomb these guys if we can. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to reset movement rather than stealth jump, because I'm going to want to do that after lobbing a couple of poison bombs in, so I'm going to buy two more AP. We're getting a bit low on bravery points, but the, these guys are pretty hardcore, so we just want to... Wow, those hit chances are awful. Um, I'm going to have to spend even more BP to try and actually make this a useful thing to be doing. 100% chance to hit now, 100% chance to poison. Oh, he didn't... Why didn't he get hit a second time? That was a that should have been a 100% chance. Unless, oh. I, I'm, I, I'd have to go back and look, but I'm guessing that that heroic hit only applied to the first bomb I threw, right? Okay. Uh, well, let's bring her down there. I think things are going to make their way towards us, so... Oh, he's a boss as well. Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! See ya! Oh, what oh, he missed her, didn't he? <sighs> that was that was a clutch miss. Because he'd have done big ass damage to her if he'd hit. Um, so what can we do? What can we do? Uh, yeah, maybe like the Heart Seeker. Because that's is that true damage? It's physical damage. It's quite a lot though. I maybe also put on some poison. And uh, we'll try and crit with it. Yeah, so what's this doing now? It's 45% chance to crit. It's not doing huge damage, so it's really about the crit on this and potential poison. Didn't, oh, and he resisted that, okay. Never mind, I don't know what else we could have done there, really. I'm gonna probably take the poison weapon off so she doesn't use that mana each, uh, each turn. Seattle. It's a bit scary for him here right now, isn't it? Um, <laughs> summon into an angelic warrior. Um, I mean, I guess probably mainly physical resistance on these guys would be useful. And can he... No, I was going to say, because he flies, I was wondering if he could get out of the way of this. We're going to rely on Everheart just doing big-ass damage to him now, so we can do... Wow, 100% chance to hit, and it's basically a kill, or we can make it one. I mean, this is basically her ultimate move, so it's a lot of BP here, all of it pretty much, but it's looking good to kill him, so I think it's worthwhile. Blam! Got poison, that's alright, it's only 13. How did he see... Oh, has he got True Sight? Have they got True Sight? He does. Why is he... Oh, it might be to do with the stance he's using. Which does suck a bit. Okay, see ya. 
Thinking Ice Storm maybe up here? Five percent chance to hit. It's insane. Why is it so low? Uh, all right, well, two. I'll put two, three. That should be ninety plus percent now. Eighty-nine. Well, okay. I'll trust an eighty-nine percent. Basically, want to put on enough damage that they'll die. Uh, he won't, but the others will, should. Uh, to poison on their turn. Yeah. So he's not. Uh, oh. Dead, dead. Alright, let's see what we can do with this guy. Oh, the mess. Count, counter all. Oh, he's missed again. Hit him. What's his hit chance? It must be pathetic. What's this? J'accuse. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to buy this, because we've spent loads of BP on stuff. It, I shouldn't have bought three, but, well. Give someone, everyone some back. Tell you what. So that's a 43% chance to hit him. Give it a go. There, looks like it got him. Who are you? You're attacking Dan? No, I was going to say, that'd be crazy. Oh, he's missed as well. Don't counter. Uh, shades. Might be quite good if she can just snipe this guy. Swordmaster's dead. Um, some melody. Can we... Yeah. 545. Five. It's not a record. I think we're over 700 now, aren't we, on, on our record. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good nonetheless. Now, does anyone need a health top-up? Uh, not really, but um, de-poison uh, Everheart, though. Because we're just going to skip. Um, yeah, we'll take that off. Uh, I'll tell you what. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, no, we got another try. It's only 29%. <laughs> And the dodge is so high. Ah, but he's poison, so... Paid off. Whoa, that was worth 20,000 experience to everyone. everyone. They've all almost leveled up already. That was pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're tough to fight, but it's it, the rewards are worth it, I would say. A lot. Oh, okay, we got one up here. What have we got? Some vamps and ghosts. Uh, so they, um, they're male ghosts, aren't they? So they're mostly melee, apart from the shriekers. Um, so I might, I might just let them come to us. We might get a couple of stuns, but we'll see. Oh. I didn't realise that. I thought they were melee. Ooh. Uh, counter roll. Wow, doing no damage to him. He stuns. No, they all resisted. Quite nice for a mass heal there, potentially. Um, what about Heartseeker? I mean, it's doing damage. They just have high health. That's the problem. They don't have particular... They do have some physical resistance. What does this do? Vulnerable. Or it's better just to do the bigger damage, probably. Nice shades. With the big crit. The big old crit. Right, let's go over here. A melody, what I think I'm gonna do. A big assassin. I say a big assassination move, but. Good chance of critting, to be fair. And it did, but he's. Um, 1 HP. I'll leave that because someone else will be able to finish him off. But Seattle, I'm gonna bring up to here, I think, and we'll do a 
a little... Oh, no, it looks like they're grouped up, but actually they're not. So I'll just heal you. Um, yeah, Danny's still to go, so with Everheart, maybe we'll... A little jump over here. Oh, yeah. Put that on. Three damage, pretty good. Let's, um... Yeah, I'm actually gonna go and dodge and regen. And then we'll smack him with one of those. Nice crit. He's countered. We'll counter all. Might get a kill. No, he's only got the one. Okay, not bad. Uh, see ya. Electricity, maybe, because that might kill off both vamps, to be fair. If we do, like, a little one of these. Killed the ghost, too. Take that. Danny. A little tough to know what to do with him. Bring him over there. We'll go after the Shrieker. Hmm, I don't really want to buy something because he hasn't got much left. Anyway, we'll try for a stun. Uh, we'll kill her with the shield. <laughs> well, I mean, that's stunned her. She won't be attacking in the next turn, so technically. Uh, I'm going to hold Shades back. I don't want to run her in after these ghosts. Seattle, I think, can just nuke them both, so... Blum. Need to be two flash. There we go. Not huge damage, but they don't have very much health, so pretty good. Gosh, I've got, got loads of experience. I tell, I tell you, in terms of the map. I guess we'll have a look in this room. Turn the fight. I'm probably going to try and do all the fights because it will basically double our quest XP then. Plus all the XP they get from doing the fights. Uh, I feel like a hail of arrows might not be a bad idea. I don't know if it's affected by poison weapon or this. Well, let's do it anyway. In fact, I'll, uh, are they... Yes, yeah, they've got some physical resistance. I'm going to put on heavy arrows. And then for this, I need to buy a couple of extra points. And we're going to chuck it down. Oh, I was hoping to hit that one too. Wait, well, let's buy another AP. Just reposition slightly. And try this. 100% looks alright. I don't know why I put the poison weapon on. It's a complete waste because they're done dead. But she killed them all, to be fair. So I'm going to undo that poison weapon. She doesn't need to use that mana next turn, does she? So Pretty good, though. Four kills, one shot. Now, Melody Cat. Can she poison? Yeah, with the weapon that she's got, she can poison undead. Which is nice. Get a couple of those bombs on. How much are they? Should, yeah, I mean, she lands another one of these. They're both, they're all dead, so... That works. This guy's got revelation. <laughs> I mean, the fight's... I mean, yeah, I mean, he'll be going into the final battle as well, but I was saying sort of a, at this kind of level, those um, revelations, he doesn't really get time to stack them and, and feel the benefits of them. One. Yeah, well, that should be game over. Not game over, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just pass these turns. They'll die. And we'll move on. I probably should have done another rally with Danny. Um, thinking about it, but hey. 
We'll rest at some point. We'll get those bravery points back. Where are we? So, okay, yeah. We've explored 14% of the map, apparently, which isn't a huge deal, to be fair. Oh, I don't want that. I want to do that. Actually, what is the uh, check on that? Mm, 21, so... Yeah, even with shades, those are pretty big traps. Interesting little room there. Didn't know that the door was attached. But we'll come and take those. I'm actually going to rest here some of these bravery points and stuff back. Um, now who's close to Danarope? Seattle likes everyone, doesn't he? Uh, see ya? Ah, good. Shades probably can't get AP back, but uh, we could have a heart and melody, maybe? Can melody get any back? No. So we'll... Go on there. We'll start, start with... Oh, this is just for one person. Okay. I thought that was for the troop. Five left. Uh, okay, we'll take some armor. Uh, might as well take something else. Anything got useful? We'll get some more supplies. It might mean we get another rest. female vamps. Uh, set the shades in again. I'm not going to do the big rain of arrows because it does cost a lot of people. She's got a hundred. I could put it there. That would hit three things. I won't do all the extra gubbins this time though. Oh, it crit the vamp though. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, melody. Let's go knife crazy. Can't hit him, so we'll... Good. She's reset her movement, so we can get, say, here. Let's buy another one so we can keep throwing. And all being well, I should... Oh, now we're going to have to buy another one. All being well, that should be a kill on the vamp. Oh, 200. It's not quite, but uh, it was pretty close. Uh... I don't think Seattle can particularly get anywhere. I mean, we can maybe reset his move. Oh, he's going to fly over the traps, isn't he? That's good. Okay. And then 100% chance. Nope. So it's just this one. I mean, I have to reset movement, but I think it might be worth doing just to get it done. I can put this on. And then we can actually do a punch. 95%, we'll take that. Yeah, I mean, 
It's, I mean, it's possible if we do enough fights that they might they might double level. If we uh, do enough fights and raise that experience bonus experience bar up to close to 100. I'll have to see how we're feeling in terms of episode length. I'm planning on this this just being one quest for this episode, though, so I'm not feeling under too much pressure to get it done quick. Um, but it's a big it's a big map that we've barely scratched, so we'll be doing it for a little while regardless, I think. I think we're going to... Okay, we'll avoid that, because I don't think we can actually physically succeed on it. Interesting, we can't actually see them. Okay, well, that, you know what, Shades' ult works, has worked pretty well so far, so maybe we should just do the same thing again. They're all pretty densely packed. If we, like, if we drop one there... That hopefully finishes off a bunch of them. Hundred percent chances, looking good. Um. Again, Melody, if we just come in and get rolling a little bit with throwing the knives. That needs to crit to kill. We'll see if it does. It does. Damn. I mean... We might as well do another one, huh? We're going to be doing a lot of fights, so it's probably best not to linger on them. Just get them done, you know, as quickly as we can. We're going to need to replenish some uh, mana, it looks like. Kind of done, yeah. Here we done all that. So we'll continue going, going right then, avoiding traps wherever we can. Oh, we got an event. Oh, it's the lost dog. I can't. You didn't, yeah, I'm just gonna persuade them to go home. I think. Uh, who do we want to get the willpower? Maybe Everheart. Oh, it's quite a tough check for her. Uh, let's do it with Seattle. It's just you don't, that fight doesn't contribute to that, and we're going to be doing quite a few fights in this area, so. And those, frankly, those children should be taking better care of their dog. I don't know how many times they've uh, lost it now. Feels like a lot. I mean, Shades is all the way back up with BP now, because she, although it is expensive with BP, when she kills a bunch of them, although she's only really going to be targeting three this time. Pop it there. Oh, she can get four, actually. If she gets the kills, I think it just kind of claims back the BP she spent on the ability. Yeah, so it cost 40, but she killed four, so she's back up to maximum, which is kind of cool, actually. Um... So what does her one do? I mean, it just it hits hard, but a single target. So we could try this again. Remember, we have to crit to kind of get it going, and she does do that. Ah, not this time, though. So we'll leave it there. Oh, he's revelating again. It's probably a word. There we go. Bling! Now, Everheart, if you could just land a little bit of damage on this. Oh, yeah, we don't even need to buy BP. Uh, spend BP to get an action, we'll just do that. And we'll punchy punchy. What have we done now? Is that the fifth fight? Sixth fight, I think, actually. So it's pretty good bonus XP already. Size of this map. It's insane. It's crazy. 
Um, which means we still got a long way to go on our actual quest goal. I feel like these maps are generally just bigger than the basic ones. Do I do a... Yeah, go on then. You get a good XP for, for the elite fights. We're getting through the normal ones fairly easily at the moment, so it's not too bad. Now, Shades. We've got the boss acting first. I feel like maybe we come in and just zap all these guys with your ult. Like that. It's barely touching them, so I think... If we put on piercing arrows... I'm not gonna bother. Well, we'll do this, but I'm not gonna bother with the poison weapon. Unless. Can they be poisoned? I mean, they could be poisoned. Might as well do it. Um, so we're gonna need just, just one should do it. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, not, not as effective, I'll be honest, but, uh. It was, it was always going to be tough with his physical resistance. It has pushed him back in the order, though, interestingly. That's going to that's gonna be interesting for Melody, because she can stack poison on these guys now. Uh, let's buy an extra four. So there's 168 on him, so these two are both dead. The thing I'm going to do is leap her up here. I think we're going to buy another couple of action points. And I think we're going to do our boss killer move on him. 70% uh, chance of a crit. And it does. And that actually should kill him on his turn now. It's a good work melody. Seattle... I'm uh, thinking like a mass heal over there, perhaps? Not quite within range. Looking pretty good. Oh, we didn't kill that one. Uh, have a heart. Maybe we'll go and finish off this one. Uh, we haven't really paid much attention to the things over here, so it might make sense just to, to do a little bit of that. Now, targeting that, does that hit anything else? It might. It didn't. <laughs> I should have thought more hard about that. Shouldn't I? Because I'm guessing he's basically immune to ice damage. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's try and correct our mistake on that a little bit. Oh, I missed the ghost. Oh well. Do not counter. Uh, yeah, Danaro will put on a holy weapon. I think we'll. That's not the one. Oh wow, he just literally killed them straight, straight up. Even if I reset movement, I don't think he's getting to that ghost, is he? I'll do it anyway. You know what? Let's uh, let's just charge up people's BP a little bit. Oh, nice. Good 
Good, he dead. We got that vamp. I think probably Saint Seattle will be okay dealing with him now. Uh, I guess we'll keep these things on. Do a bit of that. Hey, nice crit. Uh, yeah, heal the vamp. So I did. I, I mean, I read the Steam forums. I keep up to date with what people are saying, and so, I saw someone pointing out that there's only really about half a dozen of these legendary trinkets that we've seen. So I think we found them all. All we'll do from this point is just get multiples of those. So uh, we'll see. And you can you can always sell them. They're worth a bit of money. Yeah, we're starting to run out of stuff. Space now. Look how many of these things we Each stack of these is worth 500, which is pretty nice. How are we doing on the exploration? 48%, we're up to 70% XP on the mission as a whole, which is kind of nice. That's a legendary one, so we'll use the key. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll drop that. Take that. Uh, do another rest. Pretty much due one anyway. Um, so... See, so I could do with a bit of healing, I guess. We're gonna need to... Do that. That's bravery points. I don't know who Melody's close to, but apparently Shades. Um, five left, so we'll do... Do a shield, and then with the last two points. Uh, anyone need BP? Danny does. There we go. <laughs> We've seen that one a lot. Start running out of space to store these now. Uh, yeah, so we'll keep dropping the green stuff. Take a stack of them instead. Uh, yeah, I guess I, mean, I guess we'll do the fight. Um, probably that. Should be a nice little money spin of this mission. Lots of vamps. Lots of vamps. Uh, that's looking like a pretty good one for Shades as alt, though. Let's do that. Yeah, so if we put on, say, the piercing. Plus a bit of that. We need to buy a few action points. And then I'm reckoning that might be quite a good one. Any kills? She got one kill. Okay. Well, the vamps are stronger, so not too surprising. Yeah, I think what we're going to do with Melody is maybe use our little boss killer ability here. Well. Wow. I haven't really used this one so far. Oh, well, the chain attack was nice. I, don't, I mean, that's not part of the the, the skill, but uh, yeah. What do we get our throwing knife going then? Because I think we can kill it now. Poison. I finished a couple of those off anyway. Seattle's just going to come and heal this one. He's the strongest. Hmm. 
haven't got the fireball over there as well. Uh, so let's put on this, and uh, we'll put on the more damage and crit. We'll try a true strike punch. Pretty cool. That's not so cool. Well, I mean, it's cold. Not cool, though. Melodies actually use a lot of bravery points, so I might just do that. The other one's dead anyway. Oh no, she healed and oh, I, for, I forget it works around that way. They heal first and then they take the damage from poison. I think it looks like Shade's already going to double level. So... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. Might triple level, potentially. Uh, we'll just take those, take the gold, that'll do. How are we doing? Oof, okay, we're going to be going a while yet. I might even go down and work a way through around the edge. We've got another fight. What's that worth? That's worth 300, yeah, so it's, it makes sense to swap those. Oop. Uh... We're hopefully making quite a lot of money here. Melody to start. I'm thinking about maybe a knife fan or something. If she comes here, like here, stealthed. Uh, we need another AP. I'll put the poison weapon on. I don't know if it applies to knife fan is the only thing. Uh, but if it does, she's got a good chance of applying it to undead. So. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. Uh, so we'll turn it off for now. Shades, can she just... Hit? She can hit that vamp. Let's put on the piercing shot. Now Seattle, that looks like a pretty good spot for a mass heal. Deleted. Uh, she doesn't have the key strike. Set movement again. That was looking quite impressive. Does that go through the... I mean, it's using a lot of ape bravery points, but sure. It's well, nice to try something like that every so, every so often. Landing. Uh, holy weapon. I want to smite, so we'll just buy an extra point. Lovely. Yes, yeah, a couple of ghosts now. Probably going to counter that to death. There we go. Uh, 
honestly, I think we just leave it to um, Saint Seattle. Ta da! We're gonna we're gonna see some double, potentially even triple levels here. Up to sixty-two percent. You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do a final rest. We're gonna use up the rest of our supplies, and then it'll give us room for another stack. Uh, but we're gonna wanna do that. Um, everyone can cheer up Everheart. Five left, take that. Uh, you'll need healing. I suppose Everheart could do with one point of healing, sure. Never know, could make all the difference. It's moments like these that make me grateful for having you. What do you mean? Just sitting here by the fire with you by my side, I feel so content and happy. I feel the same way. It's nice to have some peace and quiet for a change. Ha, ah, yeah, no bandits, no monsters, no cultists trying to take over the world. Just us and the stars above. I love you, Saint Seattle. I think he, I think he said, I clicked past it, but I think he said, I love you too. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I've got quite a few of those. I think so we're at 90 percent at this point i'm kind of just thinking let's just get to the end um, oof. still there's a lot to explore still I assume there's a fair few fights left but because it's such a big area 70 percent how are we doing going up so we want to go across now, sort of ever decreasing circles a little bit. I'm just avoiding those stacks now because I've kind of, I've kind of just filled up on them really. Is that it? Are we at? We should be there now. There we go. So we're going to head back to the guild. We got up to plus ninety percent percent bonus experience. Everyone has got at least one level. Probably most a double or even triple leveling here. Lots of money. Let's see what everyone gets. So someone like Shades. Yeah, I think we I think we'll see double levels. I don't think we'll see triple levels, but I could be wrong. I think everyone is going to be well on their way to their third level from this, though. Wow, vampiric side effects. Oh no! So um, Gizmo, <laughs> Gizmo's attacked Hemlock now. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Luis is motivated. He's just received a big bunch of experience points. Oh, what's this? Several of the adventurers have made accusations against each other for things the other has supposedly done. Every one of them deny any misdeeds they've been accused of, and the whole situation reeks of somebody purposely trying to create conflicts between the adventurers. Oh god, look at all these relationships deteriorating. It's probably Dark Moon at the centre of it all. Shao sees blood, she's attacked Curtis. Uh, Pierce is upset, he got rejected. Elan Litsy bits of friends, Gizmo and Crystal B are friends. Solaris and Hyper are friends. Okay, let's do... Oh, it's quite a lot of levelling up. Two titles to improve. That's always fun. Let's see. So, the Phantom is going to become the Trickster. So, she's going to get... Uh, she can, she'll be able to summon a decoy. That could be an interesting one. Does she... Any of those... Yeah, so she's gained, gained a movement as well, which is nice. And the Fleet-Fingered Sorceress... Uh, it's going to become the Silent Enchantress. So she's going to lose the extra cost of arcane skills with this, which is nice. So less mana spent, plus uh, the uh, halving the debit to magic potency as well on Seer. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. The Silent Enchantress. Yeah, we'll do some leveling up, and we'll try and um, switch in this this book just to get some extra intelligence. I don't know what benefits it's got to most people, but it, you know, may as well, right? Full sweep. 
Very nice. Have a heart. Oop, I don't know why I put that on. Melody. She should double level. I'm gonna re-roll that. I might get a double. Yeah, we did. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we got we got the endurance and stuff as well, so that seems good. Average Denny. Probably just a single level. But he is already like level 23. He's level 24 now, obviously. Um, I might reroll that. We did get the endurance, which is nice. I hope, hopefully strength. Oh, okay. Arguably not as good, but fine. See ya. Uh, should see a couple of levels. Ha, <laughs> see ya. Should see a couple of levels. Yeah. Pretty good. Might be roll that. It'd be nice to get the double intelligence if we can. No. Uh, do we want to re-roll? It's probably fine. She got the strength. That's always nice on the rangers. Oh, she's got double O. Here we go. Double dex. I might re-roll, try and get some strength added. Yeah, there we go. And got the double dex anyway. Got a clean sweep. Very nice. Shades. Uh, St. Seattle. Yeah, he, he should probably hope for at least one double here, so we'll re-roll that. Got a couple of doubles. There we go. Good. Is that it? Yeah, so I think the other seven, I think they're just my guys at the end, but we got some skills to do as well. So Everheart. The aura, monk stuff, range damage, meh. Body purification, this one is key. Oh no, we key imbue strikes is good. I think we should, we need that. Uh, Melody is doing pretty good with the crit stuff. It does increase crit chance against the target. It, it, it's a very cheap skill to use. And it does increase the crit chance on someone by 50%. So you could combine and it's no and it's no AP, so you can combine that with one of the other skills, and actually that's that's quite a nice little combo. So I think okay, we'll take that. Uh Savage Denero. What's his ult? So Holy Cross. I think we've seen this before. Uh, I don't think I've got it on anyone yet though. Holy damage, true damage. I mean it's a it's a big ass. Blam, isn't it? Uh, which could be pretty good. Or we could do damage against the undead and demons. I think I might do that. That feels thematically appropriate for a paladin having that. Um, so she's got the spells critting and everything. I guess let's add the. Um, I'll add some fire. A fire school just so she's. You know. If I could, I might res I would have respect the earth because actually that's not very helpful. I don't think in the main. Uh, but fire is good to have, especially if you're going to like the tundra and stuff like that. Uh, shades. Oh, she's not running by. Okay. Um, sh sh mm. Mm. The trap, yeah, I've, I've been thinking about this trap that stops moving. It could be good. I just wonder if the AI is just sort of naturally going to just avoid it anyway. So what's, what is her dodge? 51. So maybe just getting the dodge 10 might be quite good, because I was considering the 10%, but actually that would only be 5, whereas the 10 is obviously better than that. There we go. So I haven't checked the time of the video, but I'm assuming that's taken quite a while. So I'll just say uh, thanks very much for watching this video. As I said, um, next time we come back, my plan is for most of these guys to be at or around level 25. I think 25 is the max. It might go further than that. I don't actually know. I thought it was 24, but then we're talking about you know quests for level 25 plus. So I guess we'll see because 
Danero is level 24 and he's still working towards a new level. Is the max 25? Is it above that? I don't know, but we'll, I think what I'll try and do is get everyone to at least level 25. Um, Dragonbane is actually lagging behind a little bit now, but the A team and Wild Hearts are looking pretty good. Um, but when we come back, what my plan is to do, as I said, like a contract or a monster hunt with each party. Just give them everyone like a chance to shine on one of those, and then we'll head into the endgame mission. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, thumbs up would be fantastic, as would a little comment. Let me know what you think about the series and my plan for the rest of it. Um, hopefully you guys are on board with that. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.